Hello, wonderful budgeting bosses. Here's another cash stuffing video. Sorry, this has been, it's been a while since I did my last one. Life hits and so I'm a little behind. But needless to say, I am ready and I am here today. If you're new to this channel, Welcome, comment, and subscribe if you like cash stuff and videos. Hit the notification bell to see when I upload, right? So you won't miss it. And to all my returnees, hello again, hello again. Um, so this is just gonna be a basic um paycheck cash stuffing. All right, third time's a charm. I'm gonna try to do this super duper fast because I have no idea how much space I have on my phone. So we're gonna get right into it. So let's see what we have. Let's do this binder. We have, do we have anything? Vacation. Vacation is going to get 30 plus. Vacation is getting 30. And that's a 10 and a 20. So vacation had, and I'm going to do, add the things up off camera. 20, 30, 35, 40. And I don't know if I'm going to count them all. Tithing gets 10 plus. Tithing gets $10. So that's 10, 20, 10, 20, 25, 30. I hope y'all like this new setup. I finally got it. <laughs> I had to rig it up, obviously, but I finally got it. Nothing for, wait, $1 savings challenge. I do have something for that. I have three dollars into that. So I hope y'all see I finally got it. What I did was I kept researching and apparently everybody rigging them so up. I figured out a way. Um, I'm thinking about doing a video about that as well. Nothing's going in there. Nothing. Wait, what is that? Technically, nothing's going in there. Nothing's going in there. I think that's it for that binder. Okay. Next, we have this. We got my husband's work lunch. I don't think I've cashed up. That's going to be cash list. That's in his bank. Emergency fund. We have 50. 50 plus 15. 65. 50. 65. And I'm not going to count emergency. It's too much to count right now since I'm trying to make this video short. So that's emergency. Car maintenance is getting 15 and five, so that's 20. That's 20 right there, and, and we used it because I had to buy a tire last month, so there's nothing in there right now. So it has the 20 in there, $20, start it back over. Those tires are expensive, y'all. Home maintenance. I don't think it's getting anything. Nope. Nothing. Eating out is getting $40. 20, 40. Because um, my sister in law gender reveal is this weekend, so I want to have something for that this weekend. Um, family is getting 15. 
$15. Hope I'm still recording. Family, which is entertainment on this end, is getting $15. Zalours. Okay. So far, so good. We're done with that one. Y'all, I, I, I think I'm going to do a video because <laughs> I'm just so excited about <laughs> how I figured out how to get my video to record overhead. I'm so happy. Christmas is getting nothing this time around. Car is getting nothing. Nathan, yeah. Beauty is getting nothing. Jen Savings is getting $15, 10 and five. Let's see what she has going on here. So she has 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, $34. And speaking of her savings, I'm gonna put this money that's in here this is all her money, so I'm going to put it in her savings account. This is some money. I can't remember where she got it, but it was in her bank, but I'm going to put it in here. I don't know how much that is. I'm not going to count it right now because that was un uninspected money. So, Jocelyn's saving is getting nothing because I was trying to revamp hers. Emory's saving is getting nothing. Okay. Like I said, I'm trying to do this video pretty fast because I don't know how much more I have, y'all. So, time for our cash envelopes. Why do I have so much left over? But anyway, we'll see. Cash envelopes. Personal spending. My personal spending gets $25. 25 and 5 Oop. My personal spend. So this is the obviously the um, twenty five, and I spent it on some press on nails today for this video. So I spent my five dollars at Dollar Tree, and I think I'm just gonna start saving up money for an actual real manicure up uh, uh, manicure because these press ons I had to keep putting them on. That was another reason why this video took long. I had to keep the thumb kept falling off. Like I, I just can't. So. Uh, let's see. This is Jocelyn's spending is nothing because he did not spend last time. Genesis spending is going to be $15, 10 and 15. So I'm kind of being careful too, because I forgot what I bought with hers, but we used it last month. So. That's why she's getting something. Uh, let's see. Emory spending is getting. She's getting twenty dollars for hers. Of course, because she has to get diapers and other little things. Okay, grocery. Groceries actually getting nothing, guys, because we actually got our pandemic food stamps, so we won't have to buy groceries, thank God. So that's, that's helping us to be able to save more. So hopefully I'll be able to do some saving challenges, because as you see, I don't do many savings challenges. The only one that I'm doing right now is the $1 savings challenge, which I'm just putting in the extra dollars that are over from after cash stuffing. So my husband's spending is cashless. So skip that. Nothing for gas. Giving is gonna get four dollars. One, two, three, four. Actually, it should be another giving. Not it's not shouldn't be in this one. I got to separate our stuff because this is my husband's giving, actually. Um and what are we missing? I got $10 left here. Let's see. What am I missing? Gaming and computer. How did I forget that? <clears throat> Do I have a fun? Wait a minute. I don't think I have an envelope for that. Gaming and computer. 
I don't think that is. So yeah, let's make one really quick, fast, and in a hurry. Okay, so this is just the box that my other stuff came in. We're going to do gaming and computer. That's my husband's. Um, his fund. So we're going to do that really quick so y'all get to see that. Gaming and computer gets five dollars. Where are my scissors? I think y'all might see my big fro in this video. I'm just gonna go ahead and but do it'll it be now. okay. I don't have much more. Let's cut this off. To do. So yeah, so it's getting five. I'm missing something. Let me look at my paper. I have a $5 bill left over. That was... What does it say? Yeah, so it's getting five. Did I just close it? No. Hold on, wait. Let's see if this is gonna fit. It should fit. It's just hard to get in there. Like I said, I'm gonna fix this and put it in the envelope in one of the binders. I may get him his own. Um, and then I'm left with another five. What does it say? Oh, five dollars was supposed to go to taxes. That's right. To pay for our taxes. Like to get our taxes filed. We have not filed yet. I'm behind on a lot of things, but I'd rather just be putting a little something aside for this. And I'm not gonna um put a tracker. Because this is just something that I want to put aside. And I'm not even going to put. I'm not even going to put a um, thingy inside either. But I'm going to put a little. A note. It is what it is. So I can remember Let's what it's for. Tax. I could have just put it in a regular envelope. But. And yeah. Uh, to file our taxes with our tax person is $90 this year. That's for that. So. Okay, but anyway, that is it, guys. That is it for this video. Video, like I said, is very quick. A lot of difficulties happen, but the best thing of all is my setup. I finally got the overview. Uh, I definitely think I want to do a video or a short showing how I ended up doing it because y'all I was struggling and I got tired of manipulating the camera to fit a certain certain angle on the edge of my of the edge of my desk so now I finally got it where I can just do it head on over overhead and not that side angle that I had so stay tuned and if leave anything at the bottom if you would like to see my setup or any questions you may have about how I got started with cash stuff and or anything about business. Um, if you would like to see, um, more of my, um, my budgeting book that I created myself. Um, yeah, just stay tuned.